Hello out there in Radio Land. It's uh, one of those Maytag Multi Motors, Model 92. This is a coil and condenser test procedure, and it's in the Maytag uh, repair manual. Uh, this test procedure, uh, and I have put a black background here to show up to spark. I hope. Anyways, the way you do this is you insert a piece of paper between the points and you affix, you use a 6 volt battery, a jumper cable from the positive side on the battery to the stationary point plate which is what I have affixed it here. Okay, this is the movable side of your points. This is a stationary. This one's insulated from everything. Connects to your condenser, goes around here. I have replaced this condenser with a epoxy type. It's mounted right there. And the procedure is as such. You take the spark plug wire and hold it a one quarter of an inch from a grounding point on the engine. In this case I'm going to ground it right here where we can see it hopefully. At that point you scratch rub the ground cable from the battery to the movable point blade. And if it's a quarter inch distance there and it produces a spark then that confirms that your coil and your condenser is in good operating condition. If it is, then you go on and find the problem somewhere else on the engine if it does not start and run correctly. Okay, the procedure is as such. You just scratch the ground. This is just a jumper. And you just scratch it on the movable blade of the points. It should produce a spark from the spark plug cable to a ground. We'll give it a go. And a very, very, very good spark. You can see it produces quite a lively spark. There should be no problem with this engine running. Does not confirm that you have good points. Uh, you can have bad points, and this this does not confirm that. It only confirms that the coil and the condenser is good. So at that point then you need good points. They need to be true, clean. Also, in your points here, I have found out from experience, you do want these fibers to be really, really clean and dry. Moisture will ground out this, this system also. Uh, in the points here, uh, I mean, good maintenance is uh, it's a necessity. Now, on this particular set of points here, the backing plate, the fixed plate, has a pin fixed, uh, fixed to the point plate. Those two match up. On this type, you do not need a point setting tool. The backing plate that does not have the pins, you have to use a tool that fits in this area right here and aligns the backing plate. Once you have aligned that backing plate, then if you do not loosen these screws here, then that adjustment remains constant. You can remove the points without removing that back plate by just removing these two screws. You do not have to move the back plate. Once it is set, maintain that setting. It, I have found out that Maytags are really trouble free if you have good parts. If you have worn out parts, you are going to have trouble with these Maytags. So you have to confirm that each part is good and in working order. I'm not stressing it enough that you just cannot make an old worn out part 
perform as it should. I mean, they'll run. You can kick on them. But, you know, if you want a real nice, smooth-running Maytag, set all parts in good working order.